The Cuban or Cubano sandwich is just a variation of a classic ham and Swiss sandwich. Um, when I see this on a menu, I always come back to it because it's just the flavors that are in there, the textures, they all just come together and make this really beautiful sandwich that's so simple to prepare and very cost effective. So I'm gonna do mine just a little bit different. I'm gonna start with a panuzo bun, which is just a fold over bun. I quite like this for uh, panini press use. I'm gonna go with a little bit of our Arizio garlic spread and I'm just gonna give it just a little bit on the bottom there. And then the layering starts, okay? And you always wanna make sure you layer your cabanos. I have three different options here for your meats. Um, usually you're just looking for like a roasted pork loin and a black forest ham. I'm gonna be using that plus a pulled pork. Um, usually most of us have this already somewhere on our menu, either in a sandwich or as a nacho topper. And I'm just going to quickly heat these items up on the flat top. You can do this in a pan really quick. And it really doesn't take long to get this uh, heated through either. They're all ready to go, pre-sliced. Even the, uh, the pork loin. That is a fully cooked, pre-sliced product. Great use. And I've got some of uh, the pulled pork already in the pan heated up there. I'm give this a quick, uh, quick flip. Like I said, very, very quick to get this sandwich together. And there we go. Those are heated through. Quick, quick, quick. One of my favorite things. So from here, you're going to want to put couple slices of Swiss cheese down like so I'm gonna get my yellow mustard and that's just straight up yellow mustard I'm gonna give that just a little bit there and I'll get a little bit on that top slice as well mustard is a very very key part of the sandwich then from there I'm gonna go with my pork loin I've got some of our block and barrel hamburger sliced dill pickles here. I'm gonna put a layer of those down. And then I will go with a little bit of our block and barrel pulled pork. Not too, too much, but just, to, just enough to cover that, that layer. And then I'm going to top it with the Black Forest ham. Now you really want to make sure that you do have the Black Forest in there. That is one of the key ingredients. So you want to have either the pulled pork or the pork loin plus the Black Forest. You got your mustard, your pickle, your Swiss cheese. And that is basically, you know, your Cabano sandwich right there. I'm going to fold that over just a touch there. And then I'm going to pop it onto my panini press just to get that cheese melted and have everything kind of come together. And like I said, you saw it very quick execution on this. You can have everything already put together, ready to go. And these will be flying out of your clubhouse or your even uh, pre-made for the golf cart. Absolutely phenomenal. So we'll let that cheese melt real quick. I'm just gonna grab a, a serving plate here. I got some fries ready to go. And these are our Cisco Imperial 516th skin on fry. And here we are. Take a quick little peek there. Oh, it smells so good. I wish you guys could be here for this one. There we go. Look at that sizzling away in there. Just gonna pop that down here. Whew. That's a hole in one to me right there. That is uh, 
absolutely perfect. And thank God I can do that because I've yet to hit one on a course. And then I've just uh, split open one of our uh, dill pickles and I've battered it or breaded it. And I'm gonna use that as a garnish on top. I'm gonna cut this guy in half here. There we go. Oh, man. You see that? Woohoo. Pop that on my tray here. And like I said, you know, either within your clubhouse or as a takeout in a box to go, that is one great offering for your course this year. I'm going to dive into this guy right now.